Falk stand forward has a longer cancel window. Now you can use it as a raw confirm. This is one of Falk's best pokes, and getting conversions out of it is super valuable. Note that last frame EX Catapult is too slow to combo, but regular Catapult and Uppercut are reliable. It has more hits done. I think that's to ensure all the previous cancels still work if you do them delayed. It doesn't seem to give her any new cancels. But on hit, it's now plus 4. I can't see Falk players hitting it point blank over Stan Strong, but I thought I'd mention it so no one accuses me of leaving it out. If Stan Roundhouse crush counters midair, the opponent falls way slower. Juggles to catapult are easy. You'll generally have time to set up a mine. Falk low strong comes out a frame faster and is 3 frames shorter overall. This is one of Falk's best pokes, but it doesn't lead to much besides VT2, and it was oddly committal and weak to jumps despite only being a medium. This button is going to get way better this season. Her shotgun goes a bit farther, so it's going to be better for space control. Jump roundhouse starts 2 frames faster. I don't think this helps it in any combos, but it leads to air juggles, so it's really good as an air-to-air. -air. As with most air-to-airs, you really want it to be as fast as possible. Air gun launches opponents higher, and Falk falls faster after doing it. It's much more feasible to get a juggle out of it, even as an ATR. The fireball travels faster. Combined with Falk dropping faster, this makes it a lot more abusable and less risky as a neutral tool. Falk also drops faster after VT1 fireball, so combos are more consistent. Meteorless uppercut leaves opponents closer when it connects midair. Obviously, this applies to her EX catapult combos. And it also applies to anti-airs. Both Uppercut and Catapult whiff 5 frames faster. These aren't really the kinds of moves you want to whiff, but it's good if you drop your combo, I guess. VT2 Trigger Activate now detonates a mine. On block, it's actually plus 2, when the Activate is normally extremely punishable. This means you can get safe, reliable Trigger Activations, provided the opponent has a mine on them. And these routes still combo properly on hit. VT2 swing now cancels into VS2. On hit you're plus 4, so in the corner you still have Okizema afterward. VT2 already got a Reflect and new Cancel routes with VS1. It's cool that devs were thinking about ways to make VT2 and VS2 synergize. VT2's overhead comes out 4 frames faster. It's still quite reactable, but it should be better at catching things in recovery or interrupting them. Not to mention going through fireballs. It's not sped up in Cancel, so you don't get any cool new combos. On hit it's now plus 8, giving Falk a Lincoln to stand forward. This is awesome if you land it from far out. Falk got a bunch of really nice buffs. This is like the fourth patch in a row where she's gotten a ton of great new stuff. I love the way her whole kit is synergizing now. It seems her damage and pressure got better, but then her zoning did too. She's in a great place. 